This is Twit. Our first question comes in from Omar. Omar writes to say, I'm looking for an app or a way to have my daughter's Mac shut down at a specific time, preferably on a schedule. I have tried looking on YouTube, and I honestly can't seem to find the answer. I have tried to go into the system settings, but I can't seem to figure it out. Can you help me? So, Omar, first and foremost, uh, I want to let you know that you are... When you talk about going into the system settings, there's probably a reason why you remember need, wanting to do that or needing to do that. And that is because uh, in earlier versions of macOS, I believe pre-Ventura, you were able to set schedules for different kind of power management tasks like sleep and shutdown. And for some reason, uh, as of Ventura, and now in later versions of macOS, Apple has removed that functionality from the energy saver settings. And so now that those are gone, yes, it's much more difficult to do so. Now, Omar, you said app first, and then you said or away. So I'm going to start with app, and then we'll go into or away. There's an app that you can use uh, that offers a free 30-day trial, so you can give it a go to see if it really is something that you would want. And then it is available for $12.95 uh, after the fact. The app is called Power Manager. And what Power Manager does is exactly what you want it to do and so much more. Uh, it can schedule all sorts of tasks. It can shut down, it can reboot, it can uh, run certain utilities, it can run scripts based on time. It's basically an all-powerful scheduling app that can do exactly what you're asking it to do. You can say, oh, on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, uh, shut down the computer at this time. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, shut it down at this time, whatever it happens to be uh, that you have set. But then you can also, as I said, have it do things like uh, reboot the machine on these days, or maybe you have it um, shut down, but only if this and this is the case. So incredibly powerful and worth trying if you are not comfortable hopping into the terminal, because that is where the next suggestion comes in. So as for an app, uh, we'll include a link in the show notes to Power Manager, and that's from DSSW. Uh, it is an app that's been around for a long time, continues to get updates, and as I said, $12.95 a year uh, after that 30-day free trial to see if it's what you're looking for. Now, if you're comfortable, even the slightest bit, uh, messing around in terminal, then I suggest this option because it's free, <laughs> which is quite nice. Um, there is a built-in power management setting feature that is essentially the underlying code for what was once available in the settings app for your Mac, and that is called PM Set. And PM Set Power Management Settings will let you schedule your Mac in different ways. Now, I've included a link in the show notes, uh, or we will include a link in the show notes, that kind of talks a little bit about how to use it, but it doesn't have all of the information. And if you want to learn more, you'll see a little blue link on that page uh, for the word PM Set. And if you click on that while you're on a Mac, it will bring up a page that has kind of the different options that are available. So that is something that I suggest you click on, but I've got the exact command that you would run, which hopefully we can also include in the show notes. Uh, essentially, you need to be doing this as the root user, as the super user, and so you have to do sudo pm set, so that says, hey, I'm all powerful, <laughs> let me run this command, and the command is your power management settings, so pm set, and then you have to say repeat, and that says... I want this to happen more than once. That's what you're telling the system. And then you say shut down. That's the command that you're specifically doing because there's sleep, there's hibernate, there are other options. You want it to shut down. And then you have to write M T W R F S U. And that says, I want it to happen on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, Thursday is R, because there's already a T for Tuesday. F is Friday. S is Saturday. And because there's already an S, Sunday becomes U. So, so far we've said, I'm all powerful, listen to me. 
I want to uh, do a power management setting change. I want to make this happen more than once. That's repeat. I want you to shut down the computer Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then after that, you need to type in whatever time you want in hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second with colons in between. So in that case, it would be, you know, if you wanted to do it at 11 o'clock, 11 colon zero zero colon zero zero. And that's telling it every single day at 11 a.m., shut down the machine. And after you do that, then you can check to make sure that you are uh, able to um, that you are able to actually get the, uh, you know, to, to make sure that the schedule is actually set, you can type in sudo PM set. So again, I'm all powerful. Listen to me. Um, I want to look at the power management settings and then there's a little, uh, dash that you type in in a G and that's specific to saying, I want you to get a bit of information. And then you type in sched S C H E D typing that in. And again, show notes um will let you see when you hit enter what you have scheduled and what's great about it is it outputs it in kind of plain language so whereas you know you had to type in that whole thing and it's kind of confusing it's basically spits out um shut down the computer every day at 11 a.m which is really great if you find yourself you've made a mistake don't worry because it's very easy to get rid of it once again i'm all powerful pseudo PM set, I'm working with power management settings. Repeat, I want to, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make an edit to that repeating setting that I uh, popped in, cancel. And so that tells it, stop doing that. So pseudo PM set, repeat, cancel, enter, will remove the setting that you put in. So those are all kind of the, the set of commands that you would run via terminal to make this happen where you're not paying any money um, to, to use it. But Power Manager is obviously going to make this a lot simpler. And then what you may find, Omar, is that Power Manager offers some more functionality that you might want. Yes, it shuts down every day, but why is it that you're trying to make the machine shut down? Is it because you don't want it using uh, power? Is it because you want to make sure it's getting uh, updates so that whenever you know the, the machine gets started back up again, it's running through the necessary, whatever it happens to be, you may find that power manager is something that will let you do those other things that you're trying to get this machine to do. But again, if it's just about shutting it down and that's all, uh, you can save yourself some money by just using the PM set option in terminal. So, or command, I should say in terminal. And as I mentioned, we'll have a link to Apple's little page, uh, which is not super in depth, but you can always check out the man page, um, which is the manual essentially for that, uh, setting for that command. I keep saying setting for that command to get some more information. Uh, so Omar, uh, as I always say, let me know how it goes. Let me know which option you choose to uh, pursue. And I'd love to hear how things turn out.